Hey, today we're doing a cinematic animation. All right, for the first part, we're going to be introducing a fusion composition, um, devolved five, uh, five second length. Then we're going to add a background. All right, connect the, uh, the background to the media out, um, add a merge, add a next background. This background will be a slightly gray um, backdrop. Um, basically, what we're doing now is adding um, two ellipse. These are going to be a planet, uh, kind of like a planet uh, moon. Um, so for the first one, we will put it into place. Make sure to try to match it as close as possible to what you're seeing here, or you could, you know, you could mix it up, adjust it to your liking, to your taste. Um, we're using ellipse um, mask over the backgrounds to give them their shape. Um, then we're going to add a gradient, as you can see here. Add a gradient to actually most of these uh, masks and backgrounds. Uh, with my gradient, I'm trying to basically mimic lighting. Uh, play around with the, with the settings. You could do it as I do it here, or you could do it your own way. Then I add a film grain, kind of picture maybe like the sun or a star off to the right hand side of the, of this image. Um, right now I'm adding blur because I was blurred to the shapes because I was, I was finding it kind of, I don't know, kind of, um, sharp film damage, uh, basically to give it a kind of, uh, um, a kind of, a you know, oldish look. Um, then I added a soft glow. The soft glow kind of gives it a nice um, uh, fade, faded look to it. Um, after this, I added a flicker, so it kind of uh, also gives it a strobing, a uh, strobing flicker uh, look to it. Um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm adding in uh, an image. This image is in my project to asset folder. You can find this in my Patreon. You can join as a member for free and you can get this. After you include the, after you include the image, yeah, you put it on top of um, shape, circular shape at the bottom. All right, now I'm just adding a blur to it, kind of just to make it blend in well with the, with the rest of the shapes. Give it, give it a, a, a softish look. I'm adding a background and a rectangular mask to the background. Uh, this is going to be that diamond shape that you saw in the video, uh, the beginnings of it. Um, you adjust your settings to suit. I added a blur to it too as well to uh, give it a more softish look. Added a transform node um, to help to move it around. Um, yeah, so uh, you could play around with the settings. Uh, you don't have to follow exactly like how I'm doing, but basically I was just trying to, at this point I was in, I was just making kind of the shape of what I wanted. I was playing around with the different shapes. Um, started off with like some a brick type of object at first, but then it morphed over time into a diamond shape. I had a camera shape to kind of lightly have the, the, the shape move. So as the scene is playing out, you can kind of see the, the shape moving. Added a grip warp to the, um, to the, to the, um, to the girl or to the picture. So it gives it, it gives it a little bit of movement as well. Um, life into it. So it kind of looks like, you know, maybe she's moving around trying to grasp where the diamond is. Um, After that, I'm, I'm adding a posterize filter to the scene. This basically gives it that kind of a more of a, a, I don't know how to put it, maybe like a, a hand texturized, hand drawn type of feel. Um, I added a transform. This is no, this is basically to kind of um, zoom in to the scene.
So what I did here is I animated it. Um, so then after that, I, I basically smoothed the keyframes for the animation to zoom in. Um, I eased, I eased it. So you could adjust with these settings as well as with everything you, you, um, do what looks best to you. Or you could just follow these settings that I put in. So at the start of the scene, I, um, it starts off at the, the default, um, distance and it zooms in. After this, I added a background and a next ellipse node. Um, this is going to be kind of that, uh, the planet off to the side. Um, so once I had to put the gradient in, um, I moved the planet to the side. All right. So it's kind of like in a, you know, in a distance, a smaller one here, I kind of went back to adjust the object some more. Um, I made a polygon and I took out the previous, uh, rectangle mask and I put it on the background. And I, this is the basics of the diamond shape that I was making there. Um, so once I did that, I, um, now I added an unsharp mask at this point because I was noticing it was getting kind of soft when I zoomed in. I was like, you know, why is that happening? Um, cause like I wanted to, I wanted it to be sharper when I zoomed in, but I, I found a, a way to sort out the problem. So what I ended up doing is using, um, the S notes. So on the ending, I ended up moving the, the picture behind the, uh, the fill grain node. Uh, I wanted the fill grain to be over the actual picture as well. 